The Printing Museum in Houston, Texas is getting a new paint job thanks to graffiti artist Duel. The graffiti commissioned by the museum incorporates Arabic and American typographies in hopes of promoting the museum's latest show. As long as I can remember, I've always been a fan of, of signs, of hand-painted signs. we have been seeing them when I was younger. And then once I got into graffiti, I think that, that it just opened up my eyes to it even more. I was able to take typography and fonts and enlarge them and use them and bend them and twist them around and create you know, new letters from those original shapes. So it's definitely a big base of my graffiti and street art. The mural is outside. It was designed specifically to bring together two different artists from two different backgrounds. Pascal Zogby is the Lebanese artist who is in Beirut and he is primarily a graphic designer and Duel is a local graffiti and mural artist. These two artists together were, were working on this project as a collaboration. We've been going back and forth on email to try to come up with kind of a minimal design that would incorporate American and Arabic typographies. So we both decided on one saying, which is the saying of the show, changing language, changing worlds. And he decided to write it in Arabic, and then I came back on top and kind of weaved it together with the American typographies. Graffiti in general can be traced back to the caves of Lascaux, and it's a, there's a long history and tradition of writing on walls. What's so fascinating about the Middle Eastern tradition is that Arabic graffiti is so heavily based in its calligraphic traditions. Pascal Zogby wrote in a calligraphic style that's based on the Kufic style, and Duel is responding and translating that message into English. I kind of wanted the, the, the wall to have the feeling of it changing and morphing, so I, I decided to, to choose a couple kind of traditional fonts and typographies that we use a lot. So I kind of wanted to stick to the cyan, magenta, and black scheme. And then there'll probably be a little bit of yellow still added in to the end. And uh, Pascal really wanted to go with like more of a real minimal design where we still left a lot of the negative space. So kind of just came up with this design where the letters kind of bounced up and down and kind of gives, gives you a little bit of motion as you look at the wall left and right or vice versa. The way in which writing is um, displayed has a great impact on culture and identities. And there's a historical lineage and precedence about why certain styles and fonts have been used and created or suppressed. I wanted that message somehow to be conveyed since we are the printing museum and we have a very long mission that's about preserving and sharing the knowledge of printed communication and art as the greatest contributors to freedom and literacy. Just like a wall that we have that was empty outside can often be a barrier. It could also be a means of opening up communication and breaking down walls. If there's a meaning, it's just the thing that like, even though we're in different parts of the world, like, and there's different letters and different languages, that you can still say the same thing and have the same meaning or express the same feeling. And that wraps it up for this edition of Detroit Performs. As always, for more arts and culture, head to DetroitPerforms.org, where you'll find featured videos, blogs, and information on upcoming arts events. Also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'd like to thank the Arab American National Museum for sharing with us the rich history of Arab Americans. I urge you to come check it out and find out how important this culture is to our country. Until next Tuesday, get out there and show the world how Detroit performs, y'all. I'm DJ Oliver. Thanks for watching, guys.